next guest is also a very beautiful and talented actress. She stars in Dexter, the series finale of which airs this Sunday night on Showtime. Please welcome Amy Garcia, everybody. <laughs> Sensational, may I say, with Thanks. your lacy dress and your shoes and your nails. <laughs> I was feeling saucy. You look saucy. You look good. And that's perfect for International Talk Like a Pirate Day. <laughs> Arg. Arg is right. Yes. I don't know if you pronounce the G. Do you pronounce the G? Uh, it's optional, depending on if you're here. There you go. Arg. Arg or arg. Arg. Mm. I, yeah, I like your booty. I like your booty, too. <laughs> So the no. series finale of Dexter's on uh, Sunday, right? Yes, it's going to end forever and do, ever. Yeah, do you, do you make it? Do you live or die? I yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. You said try and get the thing, and yeah. you, the, you, but you finished making it. We did, and we actually don't have the final, final version in any of our scripts, so we have no oh. idea. Oh. It's very 007 over there. Yeah, except for the brutal killing of everyone. No, that's yeah, pretty 007. Well. Well. So that's it then, you're out of a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got anything? I, I mean, you got... I don't know, man. I, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you'll be fine. I heard you did a movie with George Clooney. Oh, yeah. He's quite the hottie. He's quite the guy, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, and you so bought a house, fun. apparently. I did, I did, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you live in a house? Uh, negative. You, you're, you're, what, you traveling, folks? <laughs> I don't live in a house. I'm not Do, homeless, you, but... You, I, I'm glad to hear it. I live in, <laughs> I live in a shared, li like, in a condo. You, with, with other people? Yes, yeah, so I can, like, you hear everything that's going on. It seems like it. But, Technically, no, but I can, it feels like yes. <laughs> Do you ever, like, listen to see what they're doing? Like, if you put a glass on oh, the wall? Oh, God. I don't yes, even... you do. Yes, you do. Maybe. No, I don't even need to. Like, it's so... I mean, I like people to have a good time. It's Saturday night. You got your buzz on. But, you know, when you're... Explain to me if you were getting your buzz on on a Saturday night, what, that would... what would that look like for you then, Amy? Craig, oh, my goodness. I'm... <laughs> Well, you know, it's, it would require some dancing. Dancing, I like to yes. Dance and um, feeling saucy. Oh, you, well, that's and, a given. Um, uh, what kind of music I, do you dance to? Do you like you're Puerto Rican? Um, is that right? I'm Mexican. Mexican. Yes. That's a new one on me. Yes. What's that? I'm uh, a fusion of Mexican and Puerto Rican. -ness. Right. Sounds quite spicy. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's pretty spicy yes. and um, I'm, very caliente. Yeah, I'm okay with it actually. Yeah, yes. it's, yeah. <laughs> now, where 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 were you from then? Where did you get? Where were you brought up? Chicago. I see. <laughs> it's all falling into place. <laughs> Well, Chicago's kind of equidistant from Puerto Rico and Mexico, mm -hmm. isn't it? Sort of. Yeah, your, your parents met in Chicago in a layover, and it was cold, and the flight was yeah, delayed. And it was very. They got... Actually, it kind of happened that way. Really? Um, my mother was about to go to Mexico because right. she's um, an orthodontist and she had finished her studies. And then my Puerto Rican father was like, "I like it," and. <laughs> They, uh, he asked her to marry her after knowing her for three months. That's okay. I think that's respectable. You know inside three months. Do you? Yeah, you know in the first day. Was it like love at first sight for you? With your well, babe? The, the last time was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the proper one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. I've had a few that yeah, thought it was love at first sight. It was just like, I was a bit drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love goggles. Yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That well, ever happened to you when you got your buzz on on a Saturday night? Yeah. I mean, you know, they say girls get stupid here, guys get stupid there. Um, but yeah, people, you know, tend to yeah. look a little nicer. Well, you know, sober. on a Saturday night, yeah. you want, I understand. What do you do on your Saturday night? <laughs> Clean the kid's ass. <laughs> Actually, I, he's kind of out of that now. Yeah. Clean my own ass now. But I feel like that's kind of sexy. Like, it's kind of sexy to see a, a dad be a good dad. <laughs> you know, I, I really appreciate that uh, as a sentiment, I think. 
being a good dad is is certainly you know i'll tell you this i when i when i hang out with my kids and my wife now i think to myself and this is true i think i spent too much of my life not being this guy like Aww. being doing other things but do you have are you you know thinking about getting married or anything uh, like that i don't know if it's for me oh shut up no i'm serious <laughs> i I um, it's funny. I actually went to a predominantly guy school, uh -huh. so I kind of feel like I think like a guy because uh -huh. when I it was the first year of girls, so all the like the upperclassmen were guys. Right. And um, I don't know. I just I like my freedom. I like kind of being able to do what I want when I want. I don't want to be like branded like a cow, you know? <laughs> like everybody knows your. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Ladies, she's talking purely about herself <laughs> and in no way means that all the married women of America, what the hell is wrong with you? No, I just, I just, I, I don't know. I just, it's like, I, I think it's wonderful and beautiful if it's your thing mm. and watch the be like, it'll be your next thing. I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, it'll be your thing. Do really? you know who used to talk like this? There was an actress I know who used to, I won't tell you her name, Mary McCormack. And, <laughs> Mary and I, Mary and I worked together, and she's lovely. She's still my yeah. friend. In fact, she gave me the snake cup. Oh and wow! And she, she used I to can... always say, um, "I'll never get married. It's not my yeah. thing." She's, I think she's got like twelve kids now or something. Yeah. yeah it's like it, it changes. Yeah, maybe. I mean, oh, I think so. I know. I just, I don't know. I maybe I will. I, 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 I have been more open to it now than than before. Yeah, but it's all right. You just find the right guy. It'll be all right if yeah. that's your thing. A guy, you know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, well, I do have a girl crush on Connie Britton. I will say that. She's pretty... She's I pretty... really wish I had gone more in this direction when, when I was talking. Yeah, she's, she's a cool lady. She's very cool, She's Connie. very she's cool, very cool you know? very fun. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I think maybe it'll change, but I... It'll change. I kind of I feel do, like... I, it's written all over you. Craig, yeah, it well, we'll is. see. I'll, no, I think so. I put it out there, and we'll uh, and it'll you know. come right back to you. Yeah. <laughs> Watch me get like knocked up or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, i be like, well, that's I'm not an married, interesting but... turn of phrase. Watch me get knocked up. <laughs> Don't no. come. Yeah. No, no, no. I can't do it. Like, my, my parents, it's funny, they're very, very, very Chicago conservatives. So right. If I ever have a boyfriend I'm, and I bring him home, we have to be, like, separate rooms, no Wait, sex right. before marriage, yes. obviously. Absolutely. Um, That's how I've always lived my life. Craig. Oh, come on. Like, so if you had a little girl, you wouldn't let her share room with her boyfriend? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I'm very glad both for any little girl that might be there and for me that I only have boys because it'd be bad for me if there were girls. Yeah. Because I know what, there are guys like me. Uh, like, I know. Uh, well, you guys are so sweet. I feel like guys are very, like, singular. You know what I mean? Like, you guys are like, me, me hungry, me eat. Like, me, not, not that, not, 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 not. Not that you talk like Neanderthals, but, but I just feel like... Me see your point. <laughs> but I just, I, I, you guys are like me like her, me, you know, me... Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't know what I'm No, you I mean, don't have to say yeah. it. It's all right. I understand. Um, but I'm trying to, you know, keep it classy. Okay. Uh, you're about 10 years too late for yeah. that, I'm afraid. So the big show's on Sunday night. Sunday night. Sunday yes. night it is. Amy Garcia, everybody, remember, remember. Are you going out somewhere special after this? You look really wonderful. This is special. I dressed up for you, Craig. Really? Yes. Oh, thank you. I think. <laughs> this movie looks good. I like Robocop. I like the first Robocop. one. Yeah, is it that way? I yeah. can never remember. Yeah. yeah. So, um... Thank you. No, it looks really good. Is it good? Does I, it... It's very good, yeah. Is there a car chase in the movie? Mm -hmm. Many. Good. I yes. thought there might be. It's a real shoot-em-up action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you see the original? 
I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was pretty it's, good. Uh, it's pretty good. A lot it's of... about a robot cop. He's a cop, <laughs> and he kind of dies, and then they kind of bring him back to life, and he's a robot. It's awesome. I know. I kind of like it. Yes. But this one's good too. You know, we have. I know it's because it's about a cop, and he sort of dies, but they get him to turn him into a robot. Well, that's the Robo Man. That, well, as long as you've got Would these you elements. Ever become Robo Man? Like, if you lost an arm, would you be like, Put, you get... a bionic arm? <laughs> Robocop. Yeah. yeah, of course. I would take any measures I thought that would. What, would you ever completely replace your uh, body with uh, cyborg equipment? That would be a terrible shame. Oh. No, that. Never that's know. It. Did you, what, well, what do you mean? Well, I don't know. Maybe I have like X-rated vision. You know, that would be cool. You could, like, see... I see. Now, you things. say that, but... Now, I don't know if I would want to have X-ray vision. Because, you know, like, if you see through people's clothes, you'd see them, like... Like, there's a That's lot of women... True. You know... It's always, like, nude beaches. Yeah. It's yes! Always, like... You think it's going to be great, and then you're like, oh... And you're like, uh, oh, no. Put it know. on! Put it on! I know. It's oh. always, like... Grandma and Grandpa. There. Yes, and yes. And like, People no. get to a certain age and they think, my genitals are non-threatening. No, anyone yeah. can see them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, but, I, I, you know. I, no. So I wouldn't want that power. What would you want, then, as a secret robot power? Oh, God. I think I would want the ability to just fly so I would never have to be stuck in traffic. Well, that's... The, just, just go to the airport. Or... I don't, I don't like... Kurt that. Russell. Yes. Which, by the way, can I have some antibacterial? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you tell me where he touched you and I'll squirt it. No, no, really, just before he was like, hi, I'm Kurt, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, that strange conflict, Kurt Russell, germs, <laughs> Kurt Russell, germs. Yeah, yeah no. So. Did you, do you get a flu shot? I didn't, but I'm really germaphobic. Are you really? Mm-hmm. Well, you should probably just leave that out here, like, because yeah. I am... I'm very dirty. Yeah. Not really, but I have young children, so, uh, you know, a oh. lot of, you know, mm-hmm. Yeah. They're... Mm, have you gotten over it? Did they, like, throw up well, on you, sneeze on you? Uh, like, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. they, they do that, yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> but I haven't gotten over it. I still love them very much indeed. Yeah, I, yeah of course. You know, I'm over it, kids. Get out. Find yourself another house. Yeah. So, uh, you, so you don't like flying, eh? Is that what you're saying? I kind of have a fear of flying. Yeah, I always should, like to talk to the pilot. That's what I, I... I had that, and then I talked to Carter. I learned to fly. You should learn to fly. Yeah, but, uh, like, modern turbulence. I yeah. Guess. No moderate, plan. not modern. <laughs> modern turbulence is something I don't even want to know about, yeah. yeah. No, I just... I get so nervous, and I'll be, like, on a plane, and it's, like, super turbulent, and everyone's... Yeah. Like reading their book, totally yeah. and I'm like, don't you guys feel like oh, they all, craziness? They all, they're all, you know, freaking out, but they're like, I mustn't let anyone know I'm freaking out. <laughs> Maybe. All appearances, I think. So are you not scared at all now? No, no I can not. still access it. I don't think that anyone who thinks they've conquered a fear doesn't understand the nature of fear. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's like... It's it, like a it, lifelong... It's process. a shapeshifter fear. It takes... It, it goes one way and then it comes another way. You think it's there, it's round oh, behind that's you. That's so deep. Yeah, well, I'm not a complete <laughs> idiot. I just play one on TV, you know? I, <laughs> I, no, I think that uh, I can access anything that I used to be afraid of. I can be afraid of it again in a heartbeat. Are yeah. you just... Is that flying? Is that anything afraid of? Yeah, just flying and, I think, germs and sharks. Not a I fan see. of sharks. Well, I there's a, a very easy it. way to avoid sharks. <laughs> yeah, but I love snorkeling. Ah. I want to get scuba certified. I've been scuba certified. And I've swum with sharks. That'll... Uh, and? Yeah, that'll get you regular. <laughs> So what's like... You know, like, people say, oh, it was awesome, it was like communion with nature. I'm like, you are out of your mind. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. I'm never doing it again. Were you... Su how close was the shark? Like, like this. No. Yeah! It touched you? Yeah! Yeah! Wow. <laughs> like that. So you want to... Uh... Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it touched you. Wow, that is pretty scary. Yeah, so, well, wh well, where did you where did you grow up to be afraid of sharks? Were you Chicago? Yeah, there's not a lot of sharks <laughs> in Chicago, yeah. really. 
But you know, I was because I'm, you know, I'm half Mexican, like you asked me. Right. Last time. I was supposed to be in the Olympics this year, representing oh. Mexico in the ski division. Really? Yes. Is that true? True. Wow. <laughs> No way, it's not no, true. No, no, yeah. I swear, I swear. I swear it's true. So in Mexico, it doesn't snow a lot. Right. So very few people know how to ski. Right. So my cousin called my mom and was like, can, does Amy ski? And my mom was like, yes. And then I said, <laughs> um, she said, do you think Amy would want to represent Mexico in the Winter Olympics? Because I have dual citizenship, a Mexican citizen as well. And my mom was like, I think so. And then I, um, I started training for like three weeks to represent Mexico, my mom's country. Yeah. <laughs> well, are you watching the Olympics? I am. Are you, of course, upset you're not there, but uh, what are you, what's your favorite thing? Do you like the, uh, s the stars on ice, ballroom dancing on ice um, thing? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like the biathlon. Yeah, oh, that's the one with the big Swedish girls and the tight stuff and the gun. Oh. <laughs> like, hot Swedish girl carrying a gun? I'm like, what's, this is well, a terrible sport. I'll just watch it a little longer. You and I, we have the same taste. Really? <laughs> Let's just sit with that for a minute. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're out of time. No way. Yeah, yeah, it's over. You're going to have to just keep making movies and keep coming back. Otherwise, I'll never see you. Deal. All right, we'll do it. Aww. All right. And I love these, by the way. Oh, really? Gary they're... Ullman has crazy socks, too. They're, they're tights. Oh, of course, of course. You were like... going to follow up there, weren't you? A little bit. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll right back. Yes, very talented young actress, a terrific actress, very lovely woman, good friend of this show, absolutely spectacular person. Amy Garcia, everybody, Amy Garcia. You look great. I love what's going on here. Oh, thank you so much. And also your dress. See what I did? Well, I kind of felt like you were going to be in a dancing mood. I, I am brought a little long spunky skirt. tonight. I don't know what it is. That was some pretty good moves, though, with Secretariat. Well, there. you know, I was thinking about those Japanese toilets. Got me all cheered up. I know. I think I want to go to Japan now. Have you never been to Japan? I've never been. Oh, it's on my bucket list. you've got to go. I know. What a place. I Fantastic. know. Amazing toilets. Do you know what's interesting? You ever see like Japanese tourists taking pictures of everything when they yes. were here and you're like, why are you taking pictures of a mailbox for and all yes. that? I found myself in Japan doing exactly the same thing. <laughs> like I was like, yeah. look at how different the sidewalk is. Yeah. And I would be like, yeah. it's exactly the same. Yeah. I thought, I've judged harshly. Yeah, I was just in London and I was taking pictures of all the telephone boxes that are red. I'm like, why are you taking that? There's graffiti on it. I'm like, but it's amazing. It is, yeah. <laughs> So what's going on, girl? What are you working on? What's happening? <sighs> well, I took a taxidermy class this weekend. What? Yeah. Did you stuff anything? I did, and I'm really germaphobic, so I was the only one in the class with gloves. Did you, you actually got a dead animal and stuffed it? it? Yeah. I mean, they died natural causes, so I didn't shoot it or anything. No, but, no, of course not. No. Yeah, I mean, the whole time, it was pretty disgusting. Did you have to empty it out? Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, it's so gross. Why would you do that? Because I just, oh my God, you really look like you're suffering in your I face. am, yeah. Because <laughs> um, I like to challenge myself, you know. And that's I a like, challenge, all right? Yeah, yeah, so I had my latex gloves, and like, you know, that's going to be really hard with gloves. And it was really hard, but, but it was don't... so disgusting. What animal was it? Um, a starling, a European starling, which is a bird. Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. Uh, that what I you you that would be just like scoop done, wouldn't it? <laughs> they're very they're tiny little. No, things. you'd be surprised. This is so gross, and I apologize in advance. But there's so much guck in their little brain. You just had to keep like digging out, and I'm so sorry, and digging out. I know, I know, I feel the same way. The horse is disgusting. <laughs> the 
and, and did you do you get to keep this little project I, once you're done? I do. I actually even brought it. I might give it to you as a gift. It took me ten hours to do. Um, I want you to keep it. As a memento of your uh, time there. <laughs> No, but it, I mean, it, it still has feathers now and stuff, but I, I thought you would love it. It has an open beak, and I thought, you know, it could represent you. Let me, hang on a second. Let me explain something to you. The horse, not a real horse. <laughs> the skeleton, plastic. The rhino, not a real rhino. These two cats, stuffies. Um, <laughs> everything here never lived. Uh, him over there, the racist. <laughs> not a real racist. Well, actually, I don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you thought you were out of jail there for a minute, didn't you? So, uh, yeah. what's next then if it's not going to be... Ta are you going to stay with the taxidermy or do something else? I don't know. I think I want to do... Well, you know, I'm scared of open water and flying, so I think I might do a hydroplane situation where you just kind of land in the water and take off from the water and that's good kind of I see that. I like to fly and I uh, and I like to that? be in the water yeah yeah I would okay. I would like to actually get my because I've got a pilot's license I'd like to learn how to uh, land the plane on the water it's I gotta tell you it's really short so I went to Vancouver it's, it, what's short the water well the runway of oh, the water it's like yeah, yeah. three feet you blink and the plane's in the air and I feel like on land you know it takes a really yeah, but that, that, do, you, do you want to fly an airplane from, from the water then? Is that what you want to do? Well, you've you got to learn how to fly an airplane first and then fly it on the water. You, you don't just go straight to flying the airplane over the water. <laughs> but I thought it would be easier. Um, I don't think it will be easier. <laughs> I don't know. I just figure they're smaller. You know, there's no 747s. I think flying a 747 is, you know, put that down the line a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, all right, maybe yeah. we'll start with like a Cessna. Yeah, yeah, that's what I learned in a Cessna 172. Whoa, look lovely. at you all fancy 172. I don't know what that means, it just sounded very technical. Listen, I mean no disrespect <laughs> to the great Cessna Corporation of America, but the Cessna 172 ain't fancy. <laughs> so what do you usually fly? Like uh, now? Yeah. Uh, just, you know, whatever's around. <laughs> just run to the airport, steal something, and off I go. Yeah. I, I, I like your style. Yeah, you got to do that. I mean, I'm no, I'm no starling stuffer, but I do my... Yeah. So what's on your bucket list before the end of the year? Like, if you had to, like, check it off? I don't know. It's certainly not taxidermy. Yeah. Uh, I, might, uh, I might like to go to China. Whoa. It's mm, very like exotic. To do you know any Mandarin? No, but my son speaks Mandarin. Really? Yeah, yeah. Ni hao. Yeah. No Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't Mandarin. Uh, yeah, we're actually out of time. No way. Okay. <laughs> Aw. I, I know. He's so charming. I was telling someone in the back, I'm like, he's so charming. I hope he uses his powers for good. Well, I, I do now. <laughs> but I didn't always embrace the light. But I do now. Aww. Most of the time. <laughs> All right, uh, oh, well, so we're fun. out of time. So um, do you want to stay for the end bit? You know, sure. when we stand over there? Yeah. All right, well, we'll be, be back in a minute. Little bit. And that was the very starling. <laughs> anyway, well, what Amy and I wanted to tell you was that, uh, you know, the, the starling was, you know, it, it, it had lived a full life mm -hmm. and it passed on naturally. No, it wasn't harmed in no, any way. No, no, only by my bullet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Natural causes. <laughs> Jeff? <clears throat> I'd like her. <laughs> She's definitely our kind of people, isn't she? Yeah, you can scoop out my brain gunk anytime. Baby. That's so sexy and sweet. Yeah, you've 
found your place to be, girl. It's nice weird. to be home. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Welcome to the weird, creepy foreigner, the gay skeleton robot, the uh, not a real horse, <laughs> and a racist with nothing left to lose. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Say good night, Amy.